every second of the day and night. We need a new kind of mobile phone for a new mobile reality. Ah, this usually doesn't happen to Samsung, but the day before their announcement, the entire Samsung Galaxy S9 reveal video did just leak online. So in this video, guys, I just wanted to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, which aren't much of a surprise at all, as you've seen from my past leak videos, but still there are some new topics that I wanted to cover, some new features that have been added to these new phones that are quite interesting. So the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus are revealed, they are here. Let's talk about the leaked video. So first off, the full design, it's here, this is it. The fingerprint sensor has been relocated, it's a little bit different, but mostly the same. You're not going to notice much difference there on the front or back. The entire phones have shrunk just a little bit in comparison to the old one, but overall the design remains the same. Speaker design grill on the bottom changes just a little bit, but other than that, really nothing that we didn't expect already. And uh, I do like it. It's definitely a design that I'd like to see stick around. The Infinity display looks great. There's no notch interfering with the design up top. It looks good. Samsung just streamlined what they did good already and made it just a little bit better. I definitely don't agree with the entire reimagined thing. In the video, there's a new streamlined multitasking experience where you can actually group apps together and place them in shortcuts. So you can go ahead and launch those and get into those two apps at once if it's something, a combination you use very often. Definitely something I would like to see on Apple's side. Samsung definitely got this down and they're making it even better with a streamlined version with their split app view. There's also a new Dex dock. This one's looking a lot sleeker and it doubles as a functionality where you can use your phone as a trackpad, a mouse to move things around on the DeX computer. There are new contextual menus, resizable windows, and improved presentations. So Samsung is definitely going into the direction of using your smartphone as a PC, something that you would plug into a monitor and be able to use it on the go and making it even better with the Samsung Galaxy S9. Definitely big plus for them on this one. And no doubt the Snapdragon 845 and Exynos 9810 processors will greatly improve the experience and performance. And no wonder you're able to get more functionality out of the S9 using the DeX dock thanks to these new processors. And something very interesting about the S9 I noticed in the video, it looks like there's some sort of built-in magnetic dock support where a police officer just tacks it onto the dashboard, some sort of mount, and it instantly sticks. Not something that we have with the iPhone, but to see it in the S9 is actually really cool, a feature I didn't know I needed until I saw this video. So there must be some sort of plating inside that coincides with a magnetic mount and it works perfectly together. I think that is seriously awesome. The very aperture camera is confirmed. This thing will be a beast in the low light environments as it does have an aperture of 1.5 and then 2.4 depending on which uh, aperture mode you're switching to as the aperture can shrink and expand. It's seriously awesome and that's something I definitely would like to see added to more smartphones as well. Samsung Galaxy S9 is one of the first smartphones to have this. It looks like there is live translation built directly into the camera. Something you can do on other phones using Google Translate but this is built directly into the camera app which I think is cool. There's also also improved AR support. Looks like you'll be able to do more things directly from within the camera application using third-party plugins. So that is also very cool. And water resistance is here to stay. Much like the Galaxy S7 and S8, it will be IP68 water resistant. So definitely a step above the iPhone 10. You don't have to be afraid about using your phone around pools or inside of them. And Samsung spent a good portion of the video talking about the upgraded Knox security. So there are many levels of security in the phone in order to keep your biometric data safe. They also did inadvertently confirm that there will be iris scanning and facial recognition to challenge the iPhone 10s and make the unlocking process is a little bit more secure. And then the Samsung Knox feature is the one that's gonna be protecting your facial and iris data. And there will be an enterprise edition of this phone, which will be able to differentiate between business and personal details right away. There will definitely be more controls for giving these phones to your employees. Also a firmware over the air feature where you'll be able to always keep the phone upgraded and on the latest firmware very secure. So that's pretty much it from this video. It basically tells all before the event and everything that we knew has been confirmed already. So we already know it'll either have have the Snapdragon 845 or Exynos 9810 processors, four gigabytes of RAM on the S9, six on the S9 Plus, 64 gigabytes of storage, and up to 400 gigabyte upgradable with a new lilac purple color. So I'm definitely excited for the event tomorrow, but this is it guys. Sorry, spoiler alert once again, but the actual trailer for the Samsung Galaxy S9 has been leaked and I'll link it down below in the description. And that is thanks to Slash Leaks who made that possible. Kind of interesting that it leaked out the night before, but hey, there it is guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow's videos. Going to talk more about the details of the S9 and S9 Plus. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.